Fiji is a warm tropical island nation surrounded by the deep blue sea and golden sand. As you go towards the dry parts of the mainland, you'll come across a large number of cane farms with different varieties of cane planted in them. Sugarcane is one of the major income earners in Fiji. It was introduced in Fiji in the 1870s and has been a thriving business since. However, this industry is now under attack. In late 2009, Fiji saw an outbreak of the Asian subterranean termites, commonly known as AST. The infestation was mainly in Lutoka. The AST, also known as Copter Termis gastro, is a new species which is exotic to Fiji and has caused massive damages to houses, schools, and cane farms, costing us millions of dollars. Fiji has 14 species of termites. While the other 13 termite species are local or endemic to Fiji, AST is exotic and is likely to have been introduced from Asia or the United States 10 to 15 years ago, probably through infested shipping pallets. With improved biosecurity techniques and resources, these new species were identified in 2009. Sugarcane infested by termites show the symptoms of yellow and dry outer leaves. The termites feed on the inner tissues of the millable canes, tunneling and filling the coning epidermis with moist soil while leaving the rind intact. Of the termite cast, soldiers and workers are visible in infested sugarcane stock and in germinating sets. Termites are cryptic social insects that play an important role in many ecosystems. They decompose wood and other cellulose-based materials, physically redistribute soil materials modifying soil profiles, and recycle organic matter and nutrients. Termites belong to the order Isoptera, meaning equal winged. The Asian subterranean termites love moisture and like to live in cool, dark, damp, and moist places. They feed on cellulose found in wood, pip products, clothes, and trees such as mango, lemon, coconut, cassava, etc. These termites spread to places with infested materials or fly around in swarms. They usually fly in large numbers, around hundreds to thousands, in the afternoon and are attracted to light. The termite colony has three castes, workers, soldiers, and the reproductives. Workers are the primary foragers in a termite colony. These soft-bodied, creamy white insects form the largest caste within a termite colony. Workers are the termites that actually damage wood or cellulose products. Workers perform a variety of tasks including caring for the eggs and young larva, constructing the colony foraging network, rebuilding tunnels and galleries when they are damaged, foraging for and providing food to elites, soldiers and one another, assisting other termites when they molt and grooming and cleaning nest mates. The secondaries are supplementary reproductive females that occur in mature colonies under favorable conditions. The queens and males are dark brown or black and have two pairs of translucent wings of equal length that break off shortly after swarming. Usually during late September, swarms of the reproductive caste may be noticed in infested buildings and trees. These dark colored winged termites are the ones most commonly seen since the other castes do not expose themselves to light. Winged termites are attracted to light and when they emerge within buildings, they swarm about doors and windows. The soldier's function is to simply defend the colony against other termites and ants by using their greatly enlarged jaws or mandibles. Termite surveys were carried out in three sectors of Lotoka districts. These sectors were Ndrasa, Lovu and Lotoka. A row-by-row -row inspection was carried out in every farm where termite incidents were recorded by observing the symptoms on infested sugarcane. Gappy field, dry germinating cane sets and the lodging of millable stalks confirmed the termite infestation. Stalks infested by termites were packed in a Ziploc bag and brought to the laboratory for confirmation of the isopteran pests. Termite samples were sent to the Biosecurity Authority of Fiji for species identification. The infested fields were marked using GPS for further assessment of termites and its management. The Prime Minister and Minister of Sugar, Mr. Bainimarama, 
officially launched Operation Kandivo Karua in July 2014 and a thorough survey of Drasa, Lovu and Lotoka sector was done. After the survey, plastic bait boxes with sugarcane and wood were used as bait to lure the termites in infested farms. Once the termites infested the bait boxes, Thermidor powder was applied to the boxes. Termites cannot be eradicated but can only be controlled. Farmers are also given neem plants to plant around their farms as neem is a natural repellent to insects.